By the end of this video, you would have made your very first AI agent without knowing anything about coding. Hi, I'm Ishan and today we are building an AI agent that can tell us the latest news and turn it into a YouTube video idea or a LinkedIn post or an Instagram reel, update it on a Google Sheet and also send me an email every single day about it. Building AI agents is a highly valuable skill in today's day and age and businesses are literally paying consultants 10 to 20,000 dollars to set up workflows and automations in their own workflows. Today, we are using make.com to create our AI agent. Make is a powerful, visual-first and AI-assisted no-code platform with over 2,500 pre-built applications. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to learn more about agents and AI and let's get started with make.com. So this is what a scenario looks like on make.com. I have a RSS field which will gather along with the hook and the angle and then we parse it and separate all the data that we want update it on our google sheet and also send it to us as an email and when you run it as you can see this is our google sheet which gets updated and we also get an email like this so this is the topic this is the idea this is the hook and then we can also look at the original article and this is what it looks like so this is how the agent works. Let's jump into building it from scratch. Okay, so this right here is make.com. I will make a quick account. You can sign up for free and you will get a thousand executions. So you can run any scenario for a thousand times. Once you make a account, this is what it looks like. I will just click on create scenario. And the first step is to create a RSS feed. So as you can see, you have so many apps and integrations. You can have Google Maps, you can have WhatsApp, you can have Telegram, you can have so many apps that you can see over here. Now I want to go ahead with RSS. So an RSS feed is basically going to help us to gather the latest news about a particular segment. So I want to gather tech news. So I can go to any tech blog and get its RSS feed. I can also go to Google Trends and let's say this is the Google Trends of India and I want to get all of this news so I can export it and I can get its RSS feed and I can copy this link right here into my make RSS module right here I can just paste it so I enter the URL I put it maximum to 10 return items I click on save all RSS feed items and the next module to add is going to be Gemini so we will ask for Gemini to create a response. Now you need to connect this module to your Gemini account. So you basically go to AI.studio and you create an API key. So you click on get API key right here and you just click on create an API key. So name your key could be anything and you can just click on testing and create a key for yourself. Once you do that, you can simply go on to your make automation and enter this key in the connection part when you click on add. So you can add this API key right here and then you can select the model. I want to go with the latest one, which is 2.5, I'll do the flash. And then we need to enter the message and the prompt. So the message is where you can chat with this model. So I'll click user for the role, message type would be text and I can enter the text over here. So I want it to basically take the latest news and create a YouTube video idea with a title and a hook for the video and along with that some more details about it. So you can call it angle for example. So for our use case, I made this prompt right here. So it identifies the audience. It gives the context of the trend with the title, the URL and the description which we got from the RSS feed before. So every module creates an output. The output of the RSS module is the title, description, summary, author, URL. I can use any of these. I have used title, I have used the URL and the description part. Then I have told it how do I want the output to look like. So I want it to be in a JSON format. JSON is basically an object notation which is very easy for these workflows to parse and to get data. So it can very easily take video title or hook or angle and keywords as well. So that's what I wanted to have and I can also add some simple and I will also add a system prompt over here which looks like this. So you can add it if you want to and then we can just click on save. I will add all of these details in the description of the video if you have to check this out. Next up we will add a parse JSON module. So this will help us to parse all of the data 
that we currently have. So I've made a data structure over here. If you want to see the schema for it, this is what it looks like. It has a video title, it has a hook, 10 seconds, it has an angle and it has keywords. So these are basically the key value pairs in my dictionary or a JSON object basically. So I'll click on save and I will basically take the result from the Google Gemini and I will click on save for my JSON object. What else? The next step is for us to create a Google Sheet. So I will say add a row because I want to add data and we will have to connect it to your account. So you have to add a connection and sign in with your Google account if you want to access any Google Sheet that you are using. So we will go on to sheets dot new and I can now add a sheet and I can call it um, new sheet trend. Say that's my sheet name. Then I can basically come back and I can search by path. So I'll just say new sheet trend and I can see my sheet in my Google Drive right here. So because I've connected it, it can scan through my Google Drive and find this particular spreadsheet. And I'll go with sheet one. And now I can enter the headers over here. So we will have the video title, we would have the hook, we would have the angle, and we would also have the keywords. So the keywords are here and that is all. So we need to refresh this and now you should see the updated columns and I will now click on adding each of these. So I will add video title, I will add hook, I will add the angle and I will add the keywords. Basically, we are trying to add all of this data to a Google Sheets and next up we will make a Gmail module in which case we will be sending an email. So I've chosen send an email option and again you need to add a connection. So if you want to send emails from your Gmail ID, you need to add it over here. So you sign in with your Google account and once you do that, you should have something which looks like this and you can add a recipient. So let's say I want to send this email to myself. So this is my email right here. I want to add a subject, um, new trending video idea and I can have my body text right over here. All right, so this is the body text that I'm going with. I will basically have to enter the video title, the video hook and also the angle over here. And this is what the text looks like. So I am showing the trending topic. I'm showing the idea, the hook, the angle, and also the link of the original uh, article. And then we are good to go. So I can now click on save. And this is a ready automation that you can see over here. Okay, let's try running this and see what do we get. Okay, the RSS has sent the news to Gemini. Gemini will send it ahead to get passed and then add it to Google Sheets. And also Gmail. And there you go. So it was passed. We got the information. You go on to your sheet. You will see that there is new column. There is new rows added over here. Okay, and on my email, I should be seeing the email. And this is what it looks like now. So I got the email, I got the idea, the hook and the angle. If you've been following this video, you've just built your very first AI agent all with the help of make.com. But that's not all. Make has so many templates that you can take advantage of. Be it WhatsApp, be it YouTube, be it Google Sheets, be it Telegram. You can go on Make and use any of these templates and start building on it. And ultimately become that highly paid AI consultant that companies want to pay thousands of dollars for and start your journey building AI agents. Now one cool thing to understand is I said it is an agent which means that it should execute itself on its own, right? So this is one scenario. Now you can add this scenario to a make agent. So if I go on to make.com, I can go to AI agents and I can create my own AI agent right here. So let me create a new AI agent, create a connection and I will basically say save 
and now I can create this agent and add that scenario that we saw and then this agent will basically be able to use this scenario and run it whenever it wants to. So I'll just say um, auto researcher is the name of my agent. We'll use this model and we can enter a system prompt. You are responsible for generating ideas for my YouTube video, for example. And then we can basically just save this. And once we have it, we can now start adding tools. So tools are basically scenarios in our AI agent. So we'll go on to scenario and we can now search our scenario and we can add it over here and we can keep adding multiple scenarios. So basically this agent will have access to multiple scenarios that can execute whenever it wants to. So that's basically how you build an AI agent from scratch on make.com. Now, that is all from me today in this video. We just built our very own AI agent. How cool is that? You can set a trigger and a timer over there if you want to run it, let's say once every day, you want to run it once every few hours, you can always set that timer and it will be running in the background on the cloud without you having to do it yourself. And that's the efficiency that we all want from AI agents. That was the video. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description if you want to start using Make. Subscribe if you want to learn more about AI agents and AI in general. And I'll see you in the next video.